In today's video, we're headed to one of Malaysia's most famous tourist attractions, Batu Caves. The caves are believed to have been formed over 400 million years and are home to a large Hindu temple and the world's largest statue of the Hindu god Murugan. Join us as we experience this spiritually and culturally significant site set in a geological wonder just outside the city of Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so I'm not sure why I expected the Batu Caves to be sort of out in the country, uh, but it's basically, well, it's like 15 kilometers from the city center, but it's still in the city. And there are four caves. I'm not sure if we can explore all four. For sure, we can explore three. Um, the first one we're going to is the main one, the Cathedral Cave. Um, and again, that's at the top of the stairs, um, and that's free to go in. Don't adhere to the dress code. <laughs> but anyway, that's not my business. It seems earlier in the morning the monkeys are not as prevalent, and as the day goes on, the monkeys come out. So I'm hoping when we go back down, the little rascals will be on the stairs. <laughs> There's a cock at the top of the stairs. <laughs> It's, um, it is freaking huge in here. Um, it's weird to sort of see souvenir shops in the cave. I guess I expected it, but it, then it's weird when you're here. Um, when you just look around, if you don't look up, you just kind of feel like you're, I don't know, in a touristy, not very special place. And then you look up and this is a huge cave. Alright, so we're looking for the other caves and from what we read, uh, there is one halfway up the stairs which I think we see but it looks closed. Oh yeah, it says dark cave and I think we did read that was Oh closed, no, so. the, the dark cave, that was one of the four that I read was closed. It looks freakier actually going down because it is so steep and when you're coming up you don't see the steepness and now these steps are tiny. Going up you put your toes on them so it doesn't matter but going down, it's your heel. <laughs> So definitely if you have like mobility issues, oh, gosh, um, yeah. there are some things to see um, before the stairs, which we'll explore uh, once we get down kind of thing, but definitely mobility issues. I don't think you want to climb the 272 stairs. And if you have a fear of pigeons, just don't even get out of your car. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pigeons. But surprisingly, no monkeys. And in every YouTube that we've watched on Batu Caves, we've seen tons of monkeys. And I, I want to see some monkeys. I just don't want them to get very close to me. It's a cool view of uh, KL from up here. Like you can see the whole city. I don't know if GP is picking it up, but... Uh... It's really cool. <laughs> I just can't. So interestingly, I did just see a lady wrapping a girl who had a skirt on that was too short. So obviously some people slip by the patrolling ladies at the bottom of the stairs, but just do come, shoulders covered, knees covered, ladies. Okay, so we have to find where the other caves are. Like, they can't be that hard to find. Plus they cost money to get in. You'd think there would be some signs. Oh, and I just read that this statue of Lord Murugan is the world's tallest Murugan statue.
Okay, did you know this is actually the world's largest Mardagoon statue? <laughs> It's going to be interesting when Jan um, reviews the footage because I just said that. Ha, <laughs> she'll soon use mine instead. <laughs> so certainly a lot of restaurants down here, souvenir shops, and we're still looking for the entrance to the other caves. <laughs> All right, so we found one of them. It's called Cave Villa art gallery, so five ring-ins to get in. We saw a sign to take off your shoes, but that's for the temple right next to us, <laughs> so we took off our shoes and the guy told us to put our shoes back on. Just, just, just do, it. Do, as, do as you're told, <laughs> it's fine. Artwork and all of the statues are quite impressive in Cave Villa. It's almost like anyone who has been to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is beautiful. The, the falls themselves is just a natural wonder, which is what Batu Caves is. But what humans have done to it is a little get kitschy and cheesy to a certain extent. I mean, I know, there, don't get me wrong, because there's temples and everything um, to pray in in those caves, but just the, the additional caves that we actually paid money for, and then there's like a reptile show, and there's peacocks in a cage, and obviously all the souvenirs. So it's just, it's one of those beautiful natural wonders that does have religious uh, significance. It's very cool. Um, but it's definitely been super tainted by the tourism and the making a dollar off of every souvenir thing that you could do. So if your expectations are in check and that's what you know you're getting into, it is cool. Come and see it for sure. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know. What have we been here? Like an hour? Yeah. yeah an hour and a bit. I, you know, I would say I half an hour I would like to go see the main cave come back out and I'm good Agreed. and it's hot and the rest is just very touristy and it's like you know it's a little bit stinky you know just there's a lot of pigeons and stuff so it, like when you get in the caves just you know just be prepared it's there are other animals living in there there's pigeons there's some roosters and chickens so you get a little bit of that bird smell um, but I mean that's what it is so still a natural wonder, still come see it. Keep your expectations in check, maybe come earlier than we did. And um, just, yes, enjoy the natural wonder for what it is and all that. And of course, I mean, some people would like to come probably for the temples and that's lovely. Like that's not our religion, but uh, certainly probably pretty cool for some people to come and um, pray or show homage or whatever they do. So anyway, that's a wrap. We need to find a grab and we were gonna do something else today, but it is hot and I think our pool's calling, so. For today and for uh, Batu Caves, I uh, think that's a wrap. It's a wrap. Be free.